Previously on Ready to Love. The keys to winning a woman's heart is to win over her closest friends. Lord have mercy. I sent all three men into the friend zone. Are you scared of commitment? No. Are you metrosexual? I'm grabbing that thigh over there kind of nice. It's a disaster. Disaster. Alex and Tiffany's issues remained unresolved. You need to handle it a lot better than the bossy aggression that I see from you. Leaving the doors open for both Ashley Jesus. and Rita. Rita. I'm better now. Just when it came off of a relationship, is it something that you are over? I have to explore it. Aaron and Stormy stayed tight. You got Aaron blushing and he dark skin. <laughs> but he was torn between Courtney and Angel. I'm still trying to figure out what direction me and Courtney are going to go. What about Angel? She's just not what draws me in. And you're going to tell her. And Mike still had one question for Shay. But if she tells me that she's not having a child, then me and Shay's journey will end. Now, three women are on the hot seat, and one could be going home. No, it took me some time to get to the place that you wanted me to be. Oh, but now I'm ready. I'm ready to love. When we met last time, me and the fellas and Tommy, we was talking about, OK, who was at the top, who was at the bottom, who was going to be going home. Mm -hmm. We had to come to a consensus. OK. So. This is bigger than just the phone call. This is just character. You know, we're not together. We're trying to get to know each other. It's about right. being a grown right. man. What? It's just a, it's a hard situation for me because I like you a lot. The real question is, once it got to that point, would you be not only willing to have a baby, but excited to have a baby with me? It's a lot. Yeah. Like, I really have to trust you and really submit and be vulnerable to you. I want to see how you are in every scenario. I want to see Mike when he mad, when he's sad, when things aren't going his way. I need to see all of that for me to be comfortable with me putting my heart in your hand. I got to do it the right way. You got to give me that to be married mm -hmm. and all the stuff that I didn't do before. That's I what I got to get. I respect that. You know? You won't be on your, on your own with me. I feel like me and Shay took a little step forward. You know, hearing her communicate why she feels how she feels. So we're going to keep stepping to find out uh, you know, we'll end up on this journey. But you got to know what you're getting into, though. That is no joke. If I didn't respond within a certain amount of time, sweetie, I'm sorry. Whatever this is, let's get to the bottom of it so we can get this out the way and go back to being us. Because I miss that. I don't I know do if you too. do, too. I do. Now, we're human, so things are not going to immediately change overnight. I know. If you really want to try to work something out, you have to calm your nerves, too. And there's also certain things I need to do as well. The fact that he did say that he wants to try things differently leads me to believe he's got it in him. We may be working with something. I guess more. Well. <sighs> I've been I've been indecisive. At the cigar bar, sat down with the fellas, and we decided on who we're going to eliminate. Angel was in that elimination. So here's the thing. I've been doing a lot of thinking since then. Mm -hmm. I want you to stay. Are you serious? Yeah. When I heard about how the girls had a meeting the other day mm -hmm. and how it kind of got heated for you, but you stood in there. You stood in there and you, you, I heard you handled yourself. Aaron is tearing his own ass. I don't feel like he's feeding everybody BS. Like, it gets a little tight because it's more of us than it is of them. Yeah. So, you know, and we're women, you know? Exactly. So I was like, you know what? That's, that's something that I need with whoever I'm around with. You just made my day. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's hard for me to hurt these ladies' feelings. You just made me happy. 
I'm confused. Tommy wants to bring us all together. Oh, welcome hey. to the gun show. Hey. So we can catch up on what's going on with everybody's relationship. Yeah, do it, oh. do it, do it, kill it. Kidding. What's your name? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. It's surprising to see Ashley and Alex so chummy. <laughs> With the neck roll like that, that's how you. Hey. Yeah. She dropped it and popped it on him a couple times. Bow. 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 That's when I realized, oh, this dude ain't working on Tiff and Alex. This dude is trying to grow something over here. Damn, girl, you look good. Yes, my focus has been with Alex. But let me see if these other guys have interest. Let's see if there's a connection with one particular guy, which is Mike. So I'm open. Oh, I lift weights. I, I see. I don't do a lot of. Uh, you got girl, yeah. Ooh. You be doing a lot of legs and booty too, squatting. It. I don't have. I don't have like a lot of ass. I got enough ass. No, you got ass. <laughs> no, when I put some jeans on, it's different. Look at him. You remember that? <laughs> what is going on over there? I'm not really a big drinker after I had Shayson. I basically refused to deal with a kid in a hangover. So I just quit altogether. But at the mixer, I was the only person in the room sober, and I was highly annoyed. What are you drinking? A little apple spike Let me tell you something. Lions don't drink lemonade. Lions Sorry. drink Red Label. It wasn't just one drink. It was two drinks, three drinks. And that's one of the red flags that I had. I get another drink of the red, red label Coke, please? Thank you. It just raised some concerns. Well, what's up with that? Party people! Hey! Y'all good? Everybody good? Yeah. OK, it's good to see y'all. Good to see you. Mm, I know some of y'all done had some ups and downs. Absolutely. Aaron, what happened in the last two days? I told him, you know, I had to really dig deep into what I felt was true to my heart and, and make the right decision off of that. I'll tell you what, I'll be 100 with you. I we think... was 100? Yeah, 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 yeah. At Hold the on. cigar I bar. The cigar bar was where we get this it all done. This is I'm looking out for the men, I'm looking out for the ladies, too. You also had a date with Angel and her yeah. friends. She has a lot of uh, great qualities. She's real sweet. She's just not what, what draws me in. And you're going to tell her? We're gonna have to have a sit down and let her know, hey, look, some man out there is gonna love you. It's just not me. Am I lying, Mike? Was we 100 at the cigar bar? We 100. We was 100. Let me, let me explain, though. <laughs> Give me a chance to explain. So it's one of those things where I think in the past I've made decisions from the wrong things, F physical. What I'm looking for in a real connection, I, I just don't know if that's where I want to be. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm very confused. Aaron has made it very clear that me and Courtney were his top picks. Everything he said about Angel was he was no longer interested. So to see her back in the picture, I'm very confused. I'm watching you, okay? All right, all right. I'm watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No BS, I'm watching you. Right. You, you don't gotta worry about that with me. And you got a band of sisters over here. Mm-hmm. We watching. Man, please do. Please now listen, <laughs> Alex, you and Tiffany resolved any issues? A few. A few. <laughs> <laughs> any resolution, Tiffany? I mean, I think it's still some things in the air. I think it's progress. Okay, it's progress. Are you closed off to any of the other men? Is it just Alex and Alex alone? Let them shoot their shot. Oh. Let them shoot they shot. They ain't shot they shot. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Hello? All right. <laughs> really? OK. I it had me on the defensive to put my guard up. But at the same time, I had to be realistic with myself and just understand that things are a little bit complicated now. Hey, listen, for those of you all that have opened up and been honest, I congratulate you on it. For the rest of you all that haven't, it's not too late. When you go out on your dates this week, I want you to all date with purpose. Mm. You cannot expect honesty when you're not being honest with yourselves. Hello. You feel me? I can dig it. Y'all have a good week. All right, see y'all hey. soon. Hey. <laughs> Whew, I know one thing. I didn't, I didn't have too many, too many libations tonight. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like I know, it's like, this is a, uh, I should have stepped in my champagne. <laughs>
<laughs> Today, I am meeting with Aaron. I think he's a great guy. However, Aaron definitely has a reputation. You know, he, he might be a bit of a Casanova, but I want to know if he's here for the right reasons. Let's cheers. This is corny, but whatever. It's a love. All right, to love. To love. to love. You like cheers and to love. I think that was your cheers at the last. Was it really? At the last. I think it was. Day. I think it was more the success and happiness. But I'll take it. So here's the thing, Aaron. From my standpoint, there's three gentlemen, but um, there's only one that has my full attention. So tell me where you at in terms of dating me. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Be honest, just go. Uh, but I, 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 I can't say it here and say, like, out of the three that I'm thinking about, she's the one that I'm like, yes. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but he's unsure about a lot. And an unsure man is a dangerous man. When it comes down to it, you're going to have to make a choice. True. So do you think there's anyone here that could be a wife? Wow. Um, I've thought about who can be a good friend. Really? Aaron, are you serious? I am 37 years old. I am trying to be someone's wife and somebody's mom. I will give you a little time to figure it out, but I don't have time to waste. So I'm going to ask you this question again later on. Okay. Hopefully, you'll, you'll know yeah, then, yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I didn't see that I did anything wrong. This date has turned into an interrogation. You feel like it was a bad thing for me to drink? Yeah, it was terrible. Yay! I got a little phone call from Shay. Thank you. She wasn't happy with me, so I want to take her out to get some tacos and find out why I'm in trouble. So what's going on? You in the Yeah, in front of the mixer? Um, it was cool. It was everybody was blowed except me. Everybody was me. Uh-huh, including you. He was super friendly. Mm. Super loud, super extra. <laughs> I was a drunk uncle? Yeah, you was, you was. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that was you. My parents own a liquor store, right? And drinking was the guy who came bent like an L walking in. The woman who had two or three teeth wasn't attractive. And so for me, that's a turnoff. You feel like it was a bad thing for me to drink? Well, you're more of a, a controlled person, and you were more loose than I typically see you. I ain't did nothing wrong with that mixer. Y'all seen it. I ain't do nothing. I wasn't there grabbing asses or nothing like that. So, I mean, it was just a lot. I don't do it all the time, you know? But on this journey, I'll say, I'm going to try to, you know, let my hair down a little bit. I've been having, like, champagne yeah. at the cigar lounge. That, that night, I had, had some liquor. It was extra. I don't like it. This date has turned into an interrogation by Officer Lioness Shea. I'm gonna get into that. You sure you don't wanna get into that? Nah. Oh, okay. I ain't signed up for this, y'all. I don't wanna talk to Drunk Mike. Damn, Drunk so, Mike. It was terrible. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Axe throwing. All right, axe throwing. Axe throwing. So I'm meeting up with Alex to go axe throwing, and I think it's hilarious. I have never in my life picked up an axe. I'm William. Rita. Alex. Alex, nice to meet I you. Like you too, William. Master. In order to throw, hand on the bottom, other hand on top. Full body swing. Damn. Down the lane. All right, William, okay. there's a couple of times. All right. right. <laughs> I know Rita's a competitive person, but at the same time, I'm competitive, too. You ready? Uh, you ready? Hell yeah. Girl. All right, let's see. You got that accuracy. Oh! Kind of missed there. Uh, <laughs> stop laughing at me. Uh, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> let's see what you got. OK. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's how you feeling? You going to bow with it? Huh? Oh, girl, you crazy. <laughs> you sweating. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, don't, don't laugh like that. That's just, better straighten up and fly right, because I got good aim. <laughs> Girl, she got down with the head. Them up on point. It kind of scared me a little bit. So my question is, how many kids do you want? I want three, but I only want to be pregnant twice. Mm. Same question for you. Mm. How many and how soon? Because you are younger than me. Yes. Uh, how many? as many as God will provide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Yeah. Be fruitful and multiply. Like how soon? Uh-huh. I mean, I ain't got no time limit on it either. And yeah, I mean, I'm with it. When someone talks about children, you know there's great chemistry there. But unfortunately, Rita is now playing catch up. Your issue with me mm. and the whole ex, like, yeah, man. trying to deliver that to you. It's not like calling him and we're hanging out every day. It's the fact that I care about someone. I want to know that they are well. And that's right. it. He's a friend. He's a friend, someone who I care about. I just want to make sure that this person is OK, should they reach out to me. Don't form your own interpretation of it. You have to take face value of what I'm saying. Oh, I am. I am. But at the same time, I'm thinking about, you know, two, three years down the line from now. and. You know, it's, it will be an issue if I know that you're still in contact with him. At all? Yeah. Mm. You know, I just. You're thinking about it way more than I am. You are. All right. I watched you go from Angel, Melinda, myself, Stormy. Yeah. And it scares me. Aaron's too damn old to be playing the games that he's playing. I don't think I can do it anymore. What you got? I got a pocket full of balls. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm ready to serve you. You got, OK, let's go. We're going to do some tennis this time. And hopefully, man, we'll get loose, get out of our system, and be able to dig into what it is we're missing at this point, because it's getting down to that time. Come on, Regina Williams, <laughs> the other sister. Boom. Okay. Uh, oh. Where did it go? We well, ain't going to count that one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Here we go. OK, we're going to get this together. Yeah, go on, get there. I can do this. Oh, my god, I suck at tennis. You lost pretty bad, but it's. Let me get my towel and my water. Get you a little water. Mike has been really, oh, Shatava, your eyes, and you look nice, and everything about my outer appearance. But do you know me inside? Oh, let's sit over here and let's chit-chat a little bit. Oh, you got to oh, you got something in your mind. I feel like you can't find true love until you really break down the barriers of what's holding me back. I'm trying to do my best at opening up uh -huh. and letting you know that I really like you. Right. And I'm looking at you as the person that I could possibly be with. Right. So I want to know the real with what is Mike I mean, thinking he can possibly be with because. I just, I just want to, I don't know, I guess I feel like I think what we're missing is the emotional connection between us. I feel like you like me. You know, I feel like our connection is there. I'm attracted to you. We always have a good time. We always yeah. smiling, but. I'm trying to show you that I'm really into you, but maybe emotionally, I'm not giving you enough. And I can understand that right. because I do hold back because my past relationship was, it was horrible. It was a lot of dishonesty. It was a lot of trust issues. I mean, he cheated on me. I found out he cheated on me. So that really broke me down. I don't want to be hurt in this process. So moving forward and dealing with Mike, I don't want him to be that guy that's going to lie to me. I don't want him to be the guy that, you know, if I'm with him, he would cheat. So it's just hard to really open up about that. I just want to make sure that it's it's mutual here. Like, I'm not giving my all to you. He were giving my all. Yes. All includes the emotional side. You have to reveal it. My initial attraction with Shatava was physical, I'll be honest. But let me tell you something, ladies. Men, you know, you can't keep us with the physical. We, we like it. 
We do. But if there's no emotional connection with a man, you lose us. You know, you got, you got a little hard shell on you. No, I'm trying to let my walls down. Yeah, let it down for me. Trying to be a little bit more open. I'll do better. Yeah. Why well, have fun? Like, I feel like we've talked. This is good. Came in here, kicked your butt in tennis. And oh, that my God. I'm yeah. not good in tennis. But I'm good at being a good woman. Uh, Hello. As these women open up more and more to me, you know, part of me is like, oh, this is good. Because I'm opening up and connecting more with them. But the other part of me is like, this is an uncomfortable situation for me because I know at the end, I can only choose one. I'm gonna have a mixed feelings about that. Well, I have fun, but obviously I need to lose some weight. No, you need to lose no weight. You should. Keep all the weight where the weight at. Oh my goodness. If you think about losing weight, you need to wait. <laughs> is this what we're doing tonight? <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Yes, honey. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, like don't that. be pulling out your dollars now. This ain't uh, that I kind mean, of party, all right? I, I got a debit card. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to check out some belly dancing with Stormy, Alex, and Ashley. Definitely looking forward to spending some time with Stormy. Yes. Yes. All right. Hello. Bob, hey, yeah, put it by his head, girl. Put it by his head. Let me look at it. Right. Put it right there. Put it right there. <laughs> I actually definitely bring something out of me that a lot of girls don't. Just, just the fun side. I can really, really be silly. With Tiffany, it's a lot more serious because her aim is a lot more serious. Thank Damn, you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate awesome. that. That was awesome. Ooh, shucky ducky. Yeah, so I really enjoy <laughs> y'all energy and everything. I have to just let you know that what I see between you and Ashley is like, like there's just something that this woman just brings oh. out in you. Y'all look good together. I love it. I love the oh, energy the and everything. Look really good. Hey. Chocolate you know tea. <laughs> look, you both of y'all are crazy. Both of y'all. Do how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want to be a flower girl. Yeah. <laughs> right? I honestly just feel the genuine spirit from that. Yeah. I've said that since day one. It's not about who you connect with first, it's about who you connect with the best. Right. I came into this real innocent. Like, it was a disaster. Disaster, because, I mean, I was giving people opportunities that I would never even look at on the street. I mean, when I came into the mix, right, and I saw Shantae on the, on, the, on the balcony, I was like, no. No, ever, no. Wait a minute now, hold up, slow down. Pump your brakes. Should have never given her a chance. Melinda. Hell no. Ooh. I did that, it backfired. Why do you continue to bash these ladies? No. Why do you continue to talk about these ladies? But I should have just told her right then and there, friend vibes all day. My father told me a long time ago, you want to know what a man really thinks about you and feels about you? Sit back and observe how he treats other women. I, I regret just opening the door to people that you know. had no business opening the door to. This is our business. Mm. You're here with me now. I'm grabbing an arm like that now. I don't know what happened to you. with Aaron, Mike, and Tiffany to have lunch and catch up at the mixer. And I talked to Aaron, and I let him know that I'm not playing with him anymore. I'm focused on him, and I'm coming for his heart. What? That That's what happened? Sense. What up, Mike? Hey, how you doing? Good, good to see you. Big Mike, like Mike. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm definitely excited to spend some time with Tiffany after that mixer, man. Like I said, I feel like the connection between her and Alex is not the same. And I'm at a crossroad myself. Now we're at a different phase. We need to know that we have the right person before we end this journey. What do you feel about me and Aaron? I mean, from the beginning of this, Alex, I think, claimed me so quickly that I think it put me off limits to you guys. Right. And I know you've got your connections, but I know that every week changes. Right, right. You know, me and Alex have obviously gone through points where we're like, this absolutely is not going to work. I think what it is, which he's admitted, he's never met and dated a woman like me. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm very, very, very strong. Yeah. 
and that's if that's what attracted oh, me to you. Hey, Aaron. Hey, how are you? Girl, I just got done with the clothes on my clients. Yeah, I was wondering where you were. Yeah, I'm tired too. Like, it's been a long week. Yeah, yeah, it's been crazy, right? All right, well, wish you were here. Oh, sure, sure. dang it. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Right. Right, so with that being said, guys, you, you leaving us? I got to leave, y'all. Angel's my girl, but I still can't quite understand how she's still riding for this guy without really challenging him at a higher level. Put your seatbelt on. I sure will, safety first. I don't really dislike Aaron. I just don't like his ways and how he operates. You sticking around? Yeah. I don't have a life. You don't have a life? No. <laughs> I don't either. I'm truly open. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? So. And I feel the same way. I mean, I'm open. So let's let's have another date, one on one, this next time. Okay. Some more intimate. We can really just not talk. I would Without enjoy the variables. That. I would enjoy that. Without the variables. Just focused, good energy. I'm down for that. Okay. All right. All right. Mike shot his shot, and he asked me on a date. So I'm I'm excited about the one on one. I'm not an option. I'm not waiting around for a guy to choose me. I am the prize. A little tender. <laughs> a little I enjoyed snapper. You. Yeah, I enjoyed you too. As I reflect, had to look within. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> hey, how are you? How are you doing? Good. Right, You've been working out? I'm not really sure what to expect this time. Seems like this process is really getting to him, and he is all over the place with his thoughts. That's a dress right there. You wearing that? Yeah, thank you. Ah, oh, damn. That's what you do? You gonna come in here with this? Did, what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, what else has been going on? This whole process, I'm telling you, Courtney, I'm tired. You know what I mean? It's finally starting to, you know, narrow down. We got rid of the riffraff that was here. The riffraff that was here. <laughs> so speaking of decisions, yeah. where are you at with things like? Um. So. <laughs> you know, um, I've just been doing a lot of thinking. After I've analyzed who's here, getting to know who I'm dealing with, I can start moving forward there. <laughs> so, you know, that time is now past and here we are. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, let, let's cheers up, Corey. Let's cheers up to love. I see what's going on. I mean, I've been taking notes throughout this whole process and I'm fed up. I don't want a player. I, I'm tired of it. It's, it's, it's old. I've seen the pattern. I've watched you go from Angel, Melinda, myself, Stormy. Yeah. And it scares me. I don't think I can do it anymore. I think it's probably best if I end the journey. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, hmm. I, there's no way that I can continue on. I don't want to be with anybody who doesn't know 100% that I'm the woman for them. I'm looking at a man who cannot offer me what I want. And I really don't have a connection with any of the other guys. So at this point, I'm sorry, but this is over. I don't have time for Aaron's roller coaster or anybody else's. And if I don't like the ride, I'm getting off. A man knows what he wants. Mm. I want it to be like, she's the one. Respect. And Respect. I don't feel like you're in a position to do that. I mean, you, you, have, you have some, you're right. You're right. I, I appreciate everything you said. I've been told from girls that I've dated in the past that my emotional intelligence is, is not as strong as it should be. And I think the reason why it is is because I've never put myself out there enough to really get hurt. I mean, it's not a good thing because I'm still in a very young, emotional place. I don't know where I'm at with any of these women, honestly. Uh oh, uh oh, the show stopped. Play a 
player. There you go. God. Brother, there you go. There you go. Chocolate Tissy Tissy. Chocolate Tissy Tissy. Yeah. Exuding. Yeah. 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 Right, no, how you doing, brother? What's up, baby? You all right? Yeah, I'm, good. I'm glad to see you still alive after that mix. Woo. <laughs> you want me both. You know what I'm saying? Because it got hot up in there. Man, it got steamy. Bow. Bow. <laughs> It was tight in there. It was good, though. I was going to punish me after the mix. <laughs> <laughs> I look late. I see. Are you got there? Yeah. 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 yeah, I got in trouble. And then, then my, my switcheroo over here with Angel. <laughs> Changed his mind in the middle of everything. I want you to stay. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I got that memo he did. What? <laughs> Changed his mind. OK, OK. Long as if it was real. That's what matters. All right, we're going to table it. We're going to table it. Aaron. Yes, sir. Went on a date with Courtney. Mm. How did that go? Courtney decided to go home. Oh. It was a mutual decision. It was a mutual decision. It was a mutual decision. Mm. Where are we right now? Just you. Right now, there's Stormy and Angel. OK. And at this moment, I'm just enjoying the process. I don't want to think about it too much. I just want to get to know these ladies the way they should be known. And you know the process is dwindling down. It is, it is. There it is. is. It's about to get more narrow. Yeah. Alex. Yes, sir. Look like you got a lot on your mind, man. Oh, man. Ashley has all of the energy and the positive vibes in the world. When it comes to Tiffany, the walls are still up. Does she drop from your number one position? She's very strong, boss-like. So that hinders us from getting to the real meat of the situation so we can still continue on our relationship. It's about starting fresh right. and, and having an understanding of this is how we're going to do things from this point on. I know there's been times out of your marriage, your relationship, that you came to a point where it's like, well, damn, can I deal with this You know what I can tell you on that is, is I had a, a father that never left my mom, never did nothing negative to my mom. My daddy left here three years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Was with my mama to the end. To the end. So that's all I know. I ain't going nowhere. Steve. I'm to the end because I grew up like that. Mm -hmm. I grew up with a, 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 a father in my house who was real. And I didn't know nothing about leaving or going nowhere else. We had hard times. We had issues, bills, this and that. So I don't know nothing else. I said. I'm forever. Amen. Till death do part. So, whatever you do, whenever you find somebody that you just have decided this is my soulmate, lock it in. When they get bumpy and they get shaky, it's part of the ride. Because if you get on another ride, it's going to be rocky too. I'm riding till the wheels fall off. You're right. You're absolutely right, Tom. That's real. They do. We got an OG who's actually married and been married for a long time. I don't like to take relationship advice from people who, who aren't where I want to be. Let me send out my nephew, Tommy. It's kind of like when my father's still there. I tell people all the time, my father gave me a mental toolbox. And it's loaded with so many tools that no matter what I cross in life, there's a tool in it. Right. There's a hammer in there when I need to bang something out. Mm -hmm. There's nails in there when I need to stick something together. Everything I need is in that box. So now, no matter where I go, no matter what's going on, you can't tell me I can't do something, because I got the box that my daddy gave me. How you going to beat me? That's real, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real. So when you get to where you don't know what to do, come on, holler at your boy. All right, I'm glad y'all opened up to me, and apparently, I have opened up to y'all. <laughs> Here's what I want y'all to do. I encourage y'all to continue down this path in order to make something real happen. And as always, guess what? You know what this is. This is the time y'all have to make a decision. Which one of these ladies you're going to be saying goodbye to? It's all in your hands. It's only going to get harder.
right now. Okay now, don't hurt nobody. Some things with Rita are coming very, very clear to me at this point. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> and I need to kind of address them so I can get it off my chest. Hey, look at you. Wow. Chocolate shoes match your chocolate self. Right, you know what I'm saying? I see the green and I the, know, yeah, right? okay. Had to match my, my green environment. <laughs> yeah, for sure we could. Oh, man, it was uh, slow. Slow? Yeah. Is that a good um, thing? Yeah, very good thing. I got, you know, a lot of me time out, you know, yeah. things of that nature, hanging out with family. Yeah. You know, um... I met with the ex yesterday. Mm. On purpose. Okay. Because I felt I owed him the respect to let him know why I've been absent. You got to stop. You know, what, what man wants to have his woman still be in contact or friends with her ex? You did ask me, you know, is there anybody that has caught your eye? Yeah, there is. There is. I had the dinner with the ex to let him know we're just dating other men. I literally have developed feelings for this man. I feel like we have business elsewhere. I have to be real and honest yeah. with myself. I don't want to lead you on. I see where this is going. That's, so, that's not sounding too positive to me. Well, the situation with the ex. It's not a situation. Right, That's well, the thing. People are thinking about him more <laughs> than I am at this point. I'm just like, God, can we get well, over it? Well, I say situation because it's still in between you and him. Gotcha. I feel like you're breaking up with me before anything ever starts. I mean, I, uh... I have to. The fact that you still have a relationship with your ex, I have a problem with that, and you know, it just can't go on longer. I just want to let you know that it's nothing against you. You know what I'm saying? Any man would be lucky to have. I mean, to be, I'm, I'm surprised your ass is still single. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's. Stop talking, I'm just. Stop talking? Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just letting you know. You oh, know, my uh, God. It's kind of ironic. I saw the look on his face like, oh my God, what? She met with her ex. I thought she was over the ex. And it was like, no, it wasn't that meetup. It was me to tell him about you. I'm getting emotional right now. Getting emotional? I will be back. <laughs> but all in all, it was needed. And it will help me because I now know what I need to move forward. And that definitely was to get from under my ex. Oh, oh gosh. Hey. Well, hey, you in the game. You look nice. I'm feeling like this is a good time for me to sit down with Tiffany and kind of see where her head is. So I'm excited to kind of for the first time, look at her from a different light and see what happens. Oh, the muscles, girl, what you been doing? Well, you know, same thing since the last time I saw you. A little dumbbell action going on, you know, look at you. I'm gonna try to get, I'm try to get like me. <laughs> no, I will never try to get like <laughs> you, ever. You look nice. Thank you. You look nice, too. Thank you. Mike says he's open to getting to know me, and I'm, you know, open as well. Alex is getting to know other women, so let me get out here and enjoy my life and let him think about this. So you want to be married, you want you want your twins. You know you ain't necessarily going to have twins, though, right? Oh, I'm going to have you twins. You do believe that. Twins, how you, because I've heard you say this like three times. How are you going to be able to, to pull this off? All right, so I've been doing my research. In certain positions, you got to be real strong to hold that woman in this position. You're turning red right now. What's the position? You got to get the, I, I can't share it until this might get put in it. But that position. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and I are communicating just fine. I mean, there's body language, there's no awkward silence. I haven't had this with anyone else throughout this journey. Alex and I have had it at different times, but not on our date. So this is, it's, it's refreshing, it feels nice. All right, so we're gonna cut to the chase, Mike. Mm -mm. <laughs> You've seen what's happened between Alex and I. I mean, I know you are interested in two other women. How you feeling about all of it? I wish we would've did this earlier. I know. You know, we both were, kind of cemented into our situations. Mm -hmm. But we all have to explore our options. So it, it, <clears throat> is Shay gonna be cool with that? Excuse me? <laughs> is the microphone <laughs> on? Is this the microphone went on? Off. <laughs> 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 nah. I'm glad I took this chance, you know, because if I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known 
And Tiffany has been thinking the same thing. So if Shay's feelings have changed me at this point, I'm glad I did it. Now we will see what me and Miss Tiffany end up. This our business. Mm. Ain't nobody ass ain't gotta find out, you know what I'm saying? Forget about the bro code, the girl code. Mm -hmm. And you good with that? I'm good with it. Cause we here all alone, Mike and Tiffy's day. Hello. Mm -hmm. He just kept checking these boxes. I'm, yes, okay, really? Damn. What? You're here with me now. I'm grabbing an arm like that now. I don't know what happened to you. Next time on Ready to Love. Sending the three of you all and all six ladies to a lavish cabin in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm ready for the sleepover. Uh oh. If a person have to choose between me and somebody else, choose the other person. So why are you here? Courtney! I really just wanted to get some insight on Aaron. Oh, gosh, where do I even start? You can't take the heat. Get out the kitchen. Uh -oh. Uh oh You are too Let strong for your Let me tell you something. Good, I'm too strong sweetheart. for you. No, you're too petty for me. Now I'm out. Negativity, bye-bye. The hit dating series returns. Subscribe to our channel for more Ready to Love.